All I'm saying is I think you're rushing it. And I'm saying that when you overthrow a dictator, you don't leave their statue up in the square. You tear it the hell down. You don't think that this sends a message that you have something to prove? Harvey, do you remember Arthur Reeves? You mean the guy who played Superman? That was George Reeves. Arthur Reeves founded this firm. And when Gordon Schmidt and Van Dyke ran him out of town, they didn't just tear his name off the wall. They called his biggest client and told him to pack up their shit and find another firm. What's your point? My point is they wanted the world to know there was a new sheriff in town. And the message that sends isn't that you have something to prove, it's that you're in charge. And you're staying that way. press release announcing your partnership. It's more than just a press release. It's a statement to the world. I'll take a look at it later. Do you mean later like this afternoon or later like after you go see Dr. Agard? What? Harvey, the last time I stopped being your secretary, you started having panic attacks. And I'm not saying that's going to happen again, but you just got a look on your face. And I want to make sure you're OK with all of this. I'm OK with it, Donna. I'll get you what you need to issue that release. But right now, I gotta make a statement of my own. Good to see you, Harvey. What brings you down? I'm here to finish a conversation we started years ago. Well, I know you're not coming over here, so you must be talking about me working over there. What if I am? I say, which one of my clients are you after? Because we both know you can't have Pfizer. Yes, I can. Are you telling me you're ready to drop Jessica's oldest client just to get me? That's what I'm telling you. Uh, why now? Because Jessica's gone, so now I can. Then make me name partner. What? This isn't about Jessica's gone, so now you can. This is about Jessica's gone, so now you want to tell the world that you're not her. And that's not about hiring me. That's about getting my client. Alex, this is a win-win. I don't poach. You come over, we have fun. But I'm not going to just give you the run of the place. Then I'm not coming, because my name is going up on this wall within a year. And Pfizer's not leaving me. Alex. You always say you're the better poker player. Well, not today, because I'm all in, and you got nothing. So either add my name to your letterhead, or take your chips and go home. Good, you're here. Of course we are. When the managing partner calls a meeting, the rest of the partners show up. So what do you want to talk about? I want to talk about bringing on Pfizer as a client. Harvey, I'm sure you already know this. That would mean dropping Jim Reynolds. I think that's the point. I think it's a great idea, Harvey. Pfizer's 10 times the size of Jim Reynolds, and Jessica's always been stubborn about him. Good, because in order to do that, we need to make Alex Williams a name partner. What? Who do you think's bringing Pfizer over here in the first place? So then give him a corner office with a killer view, because I'm not going to do something like that for someone I barely know. Harvey. Well, I've known him for 15 years, and I'm vouching for him. I don't care if you came out of the womb with him. You don't just slap somebody's name on the wall to get a client. I'm not just slapping his name up, Lewis. I'm making a move. Harvey. Hey, that's enough. I asked you last night if you had any problems with me calling the shots, and you said you didn't. Now, are you on board with this or not? OK, Harvey, I'm on board. Alex, I'm glad you called. We're still working out the paperwork. If you're still working on the paperwork, how come I just found out you're trying to poach my client? What? Don't bullshit me. Kevin Bauer told me that PSL called to set an appointment, and it sure as hell wasn't to tell my own client that I'm going to be named partner at your firm. God damn it. You're telling me you had nothing to do with this? That's exactly what I'm telling you. Then get your shit together. And either make this thing happen or not, because I went out on a limb for you once before, I'm not about to let the same thing happen again. Did you set a meeting with Pfizer? Harvey, you don't understand. What I understand is you were on board with bringing Alex over, and then you tried to poach his client. It's not like that. I knew what you really wanted was Pfizer, so I tried to make it happen. No, Lewis. What I really wanted was to bring over my friend, who I've known for the last 15 years. Yeah? What about what this friend thinks? We already had that discussion, and then you went behind my back. Maybe because it was stupid of you to offer your friend name partner in the first place. Excuse me? What kind of genius negotiator Give us away the house from the start. Lewis. No. You want Pfizer? You go get Pfizer. But don't you bring in some Johnny come lately and water down the name of this firm. You don't give a shit about watering down this firm. You're scared of watering down your place in it. I'm not afraid of a third-rate lawyer. Bullshit. 
You're afraid and you're jealous. And this entire firm knows it. No, there's no need to be jealous because he's not coming here. Yes, he is. Well, then why don't you try reading the bylaws? Because in order to make someone name partner, you need my vote or Jessica's vote. And if you think she is going to ditch her oldest client to bring in someone she doesn't even know, you're out of your goddamn mind. Thanks for making the time to see me, Jessica. I will always make time to see you, Harvey. Especially after you've flown all the way out here to put the screws to me. Lewis called you, didn't he? About an hour after your plane took off. And you've already heard his side of the story. And I don't need to hear yours. Jessica. Harvey, I understand wanting to make a statement. But you rush into this. The only statement you're making is that you're not ready. I can't believe this. My first act is managing partner, and you're cutting my legs out from under me. I'm not cutting anything out. I'm trying to help you. You can't give out name partner like it's Halloween candy. That doesn't sound like help. That sounds like I'm a child who Harvey, can't figure out. you do this? What's going to happen the next time you want to bring someone over? I'll tell you what happens. You're going to get rolled because you haven't thought this through. You know what I think? I think this has nothing to do with my decision. You're pissed I'm dumping your client for a better one. No, Harvey. That's something you'd be pissed about because you've never been able to look at the big picture. Well, how's this for big picture? I think you want it both ways. And what the hell is that supposed to mean? It means you want to live here and keep your name on my wall because you're not ready to let go of my firm. Well, if that's how you really feel, then take my name off your goddamn wall and then you can do whatever the hell you want. As you know, I am on track to be a senior partner here. In fact, it's one of the main reasons I agreed to come back. I know. I'm not saying Donna doesn't deserve a promotion. I know what she does as much as anyone. I'm just saying making partner means something. And I'm concerned that being one here won't mean what it used to. What would you have me do? I don't know. I just thought if I was thinking it, it occurred to me that others might be too. And I thought you should know that. Katrina. Being a partner here will mean as much as it always has. I'll make sure of it. Name partner means something, and I can't just give it away to make a statement. I never should have offered it to you in the first place. God damn it, Harvey. This is the second time you've done this. And I'm sorry, Alex, but this is a take it or leave it offer. You can let me know in the morning. I'll take it. I wasn't really gonna make name partner in a year. Maybe not ever. I know. How? Because if they were really gonna do it in a year, you would have leveraged them to move it up the second I left your office. So why didn't you call me on that before? I don't know. Maybe it's because I felt like I owe you. Or maybe because I wanted to prove to the world that I'm not Jessica. Or maybe it's because I wanted to work together. I'll see you Monday, Harvey. See you Monday. What is it now, Harvey? You want to put the janitor in charge of bankruptcy? Or the guard downstairs could be head of litigation. You finished? Depends on what you say next. I'm sorry I said those things about you. And I want you to know I didn't mean any of them. I'm sorry too, Harvey. Jessica, you don't need to apologize. For yes, I do. You were just tearing the statue down, just like you saw me do all those years ago. And I didn't like it, because the statue was me. Well, if it's the same to you, I'd like the statue to stay. Sounds good to me. There's one more thing. There always is. I'm still bringing Alex over, only not as a name partner. But Pfizer's still insisting we drop Jim Reynolds. And you want to know if I'm OK with it? No. I'm letting him go. I'm just calling you to tell you before I tell him like I should have done in the first place. I was wrong when I said you weren't ready, Harvey. No, you weren't. But you are now. Good night, Closer. Good night, Jessica. I take your feet off my desk. <laughs> Not a chance.